Um, hi, uh, my name is Lu Yaonio right here. Um, this is uh, the work from my master's school it's from Wolster Polytechnic Institute. Right now I'm a PhD student in Oklahoma State University. Um, in this work, we focus on indoor localization using wireless signals because Wi-Fi access point is uh, very widely deployed, so we're trying to use Wi-Fi signal for indoor localization. But uh, actually, in indoor localization, there are two steps for the Wi-Fi signal collection. Um, and uh, if we use human for database collection, that will be very time consuming and labor expensive. So our purpose is to uh, use robot for the uh, database collection. Uh, and that will be a uh, fixed time consumption and uh, less labor um, requirement. Uh, for the robot database collection, we implement SLAM algorithm to let the robot explore the indoor area by itself. And in the meanwhile, it will pop up the location information and the uh, wireless signal localization so that we will have a very large uh, Wi-Fi signal database. And if, if we use human, the database size will be uh, smaller because human only go to a specific area for, um, uh, for the measurements. So here is uh, the SLAM result, and if we collect the database using both human and the robot, and we implement two, um, two set of algorithms, the first one is k-nearest neighbor, and another one is a statistical algorithm, like uh, the kernel method. Uh, and we get the database, uh, the localization result, just as shown in the table. And we can see that for the um, very complex indoor environment, if we use robots for database collection, it will be very uh, uh, cheap and uh, the time consumption will be very low. And that's it. Mm -hmm.